what really belongs to you on this earth as it relates to the entertainment field. I want to talk, therefore, about education and learning. Let's say that you want to become a musician or a composer. You go to school, you study, you practice. That's good, but that's not enough. What you must do is listen to all kinds of music, not just what happens to, you know, attracts you at the moment, or what happens to be the fancy or the rage at the moment. Listen to classical music, listen to modern music, listen to music from all over the world. And listen to sounds in nature. It may inspire you. Now you want to become an actor, and you go to school, you study, you go to workshop, you study, you practice. That's good, but it's not enough. You see, as an actor, what you will be doing is imitating life. And therefore, it is up to you to become the best observer, the best listener that you can ever be. Watch how people walk, talk, behave, move. Because you don't know. Maybe one day, when you are a professional, you may have to recall and use some special walk, some special behavior, some special pattern of speech. That's the way to go. So, observe, study, and listen. Because you see, unless you have a catastrophic accident or an ailment that involves the brain, what you're learning today, and try to learn something every day, what you're learning today, nobody can take away from you. It's yours for life. That's what you really possess in this world, knowledge.